down to Washington County for the first herping trip of the year, and I am super excited. There's just so many species in Washington County, and I'm just really hopeful to find some amazing things. Um, but stay tuned, it should be pretty fun. This is absolutely amazing. I just flipped two variable ground snakes and this is a, a first time I've ever seen these snakes. They're so cool. There's tiny little snakes. Oh my goodness. That is so cool. I just flipped both those guys under this rock right here. These snakes are one of the, the very smallest snake species in Utah on average, you know, they they don't get to be very big. Should we show it to Jay? Jay, look. <laughs> Little Jay's first snake. <laughs> I'll hold him. I'll hold him, Mom. I'll hold him, Dad. Gotta be really gentle with these snakes, okay? I'm gonna just put them on the top of your hand like this. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We'll hold him. Okay, wanna hold him? Be yeah. so, so soft. Okay. That's <laughs> just cute. These guys go back into their rock. So cool! Oh, I'm so happy with that. I've officially seen my first lizard of 2024. Little side blotch lizard. Not what we came for, but it's a good start to see the sun's out. Okay, this is actually pretty neat. So I caught that side blotch lizard and you can see the tail regrowth right here. If you look from a distance, you can actually see that the entire tail is a different color. Um, but that stub is much more recently regrown. Okay, I just had a big lizard run right here. I wasn't able to identify it. Um, I thought it was, it's probably a whip tail, but I can still hear him. did see it like it was a whip tail. All right, I got him. I flipped over this and he was underneath there. Just a medium sized whip tail, he's not too big. But these things are always super fun to catch. Really pretty. I don't know what it is with the lizard population here, but you can see almost every single one that I've seen has had their tail regrown. There must be a lot of predators in this area or something. Wow, that is a beautiful one right there. Some really vibrant blues and yellows. All right, we're gonna call it good at this first spot. I found the ground snakes, the whip tail, and a bunch of side blotch lizards. Um, now we're gonna venture to a different area and see if we can find in some different species. Okay, this is my second location that I am herping today. And uh, so I just had my wife drop me off. And I've got about a mile of desert to hike through to get to the rocks at the top of this um, hill over here. And so the idea behind that is just, I'll cover some terrain and just this open desert on my way up there and um, see if I can find anything and then when I, I get up to the rocks, I'll start doing a little more flipping and see if I can find some chuckwallas or something in those bigger rocks. Not trying to dream too big, but 
I would love to find a Mojave Desert tortoise out in this open desert. And they should be out. So it's uh, certainly a possibility, but I wouldn't say it's high probability. There's some Roadrunner tracks. Well, there's a lizard right there, but there's also some kind of hive of like yellow jackets or something. And I don't think I want to even mess with those, so I'm not going to go try to get the lizard. Okay, this board looks like it was just sent here to have me flip it. Let's see if there's anything under there. Oh, dang it. <laughs> Had high hopes for that one. I just saw a zebra tail lizard. Didn't get that on video, they're so quick. But I did see one, so that's another species to add. Hopefully I can catch one. You guys came to this beautiful gorge right here. I'm gonna, no way, no way. Oh, what? What, no. It's a desert tortoise right here, but it's dead. place to find it too look it's there's literally this um, overhang right here that's under right on top of this magnificent view that's like the most picturesque place to find it I just wish it was alive dang it man that's fascinating though let's see it's all dried up I wonder what caused it to die top of this beautiful cliff you know as I've thought about it more so I found that desert tortoise right on the edge of the cliff down there and I'm just on a shelf right here where that's huge cliff and then this cliff right here I almost wonder if that tortoise stumbled down in here and then was unable to climb its way out and either starved or died of dehydration but just one theory that I have that may have happened to it, but I just, I just don't know. Well, whether it was dead or alive, one thing I didn't expect was to find a tortoise up on these cliffs. I thought if I would ever see that, it would be down in the valley below. I may be just letting my imagination run wild, but it really looks like there's a huge lizard track in here that could maybe be a Gila monster. I don't know if you can see that big scratch right there, but that looks um, like it could be the size of a Gila monster. Then again, it could just be nothing. Okay, just saw a chuckwalla. Super excited. I heard something coming here. And then I saw it um, shimmy down into this crack, which basically means I'm never gonna get it out. Oh, yep, there he is. There he is. So chuckwallas will go into cracks like this and uh, I hope the camera can pick that up. I can barely see them, but anyways, they'll go in these cracks and then puff themselves up and, and inflate, which basically makes it impossible to get them out of the crack. Okay, this is from the other side. You can see, you can barely see his head in that crack. It's a pretty good size one, I think, too another look at him. That's where I found that chuck wall is, right? That big rock sticking out. He's still under there, but like I said, I don't think it's worth trying to get him out. I don't want to bother him. Okay, I've got a plateau striped whip tail right here. And I'm gonna get my lizard noose for this one to see if I can get him. These things are so quick. Well, the plateau striped whip tail evaded me once again. I was not able to get that one on camera. 
just unfortunate. I've seen a lot of species that I wasn't able to get on camera today. Usually I'm better at that, but I've just missed a lot of opportunities today. Okay, I just had a spiny lizard, just a little one run into that hole right there. We'll see if I can get him to pop out. All right, I got the little guy. So this is a yellow-backed spiny lizard. And those those big scales are the obvious way to know if it's a spiny lizard or not, but also um, they'll have that collar. came down from the cliffs and I'm back in the flat at the bottom. Um, I'm going to take a break for a little bit, um, go eat some dinner, and then I'm going to head out again to a different location and see what I can find there. Okay, this is our third location of the day. Along this river, we're, I'm hoping to find some new species. So far I can hear the toads already, so that's a good sign. Okay, I just found this giant rug in the middle of nowhere. And I am hoping there's something underneath this thing. Some millipedes. Would you look at that? Just found a little hatchet. I don't know what my luck is with finding cool dead things today, but I found this. That's pretty sweet. I'll have to do some research on what kind of beetle it is. But too bad it's not alive. That would have been awesome. Alright, we're gonna stay in our van tonight. We got a park down there along the river. Should be pretty cozy and fun. This is so beautiful. That's what I like to hear. Frogs are going crazy now. Okay, I followed the sound of the frogs and it turns out they're Baja California tree frogs. Yeah, you're holding it, look at that. So, so gentle with him. Okay. Oh, look at his buddy. His buddy's filling up his air sack. I'm not exactly sure what he's doing, but he's inflating his air sac for us. So you can see these frogs have much bigger toe pads than the boreal chorus frog, which they're often confused with because of that um, pattern that they have on their back, which is very similar to the boreal chorus frog. <laughs> what do you got, Blake? I got, I got froggy. Yeah, you sure do. <laughs> Yeah, look, little, little Jay's looking at his first frogs, huh? Look at that yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look at that strong frog. One-handed pull-up. Look, I got one too. <laughs> I got one. Yeah, you gotta be gentle with him. Uh, okay. <laughs> I got a frog. This one. Time to let the froggies go. No, I just hold him. <laughs> no, we gotta let him go, Blake. Say bye, froggy. Look, he's gonna jump out of my hand. Y'all getting ready for bed. <laughs> Jay is loving this.
You just looking at the mountains? What do you got there, Blake? Got some applesauce. <laughs> All right, this is Jay's first camp out. Jay's three weeks old. Can't believe we haven't taken him camping yet. Okay, day two. This is our fourth location that we are herping. And it's actually quite cold this morning, so I'm gonna stick to flipping rocks. And I don't expect to see anything out and about right now. But I'll try to find an area where I can flip and we will start there. Okay, that's something I haven't flipped before. There's a whole family of bats in this crack right here. Flipped a little scorpion. Man, I'm just so grateful for a loving God who allows us to have such a beautiful place to explore and live in. Such a wonderful blessing that I think a lot of us take for granted.